Hi, my name is Emmanuel. My YouTube channel is GTMM Great Time Making Music. That means I'm a music producer, I'm not a photographer nor a videographer. And still I want to share with you my experience with this video camera, which is a Sony FX3 video camera. It's the lowest, let's say, model of the cinema line of Sony. And for me, as you can imagine, is more like a musical instrument because it helps me record the video for the music I make. I do live jamming, I do some, I don't know, some artistic shots sometimes that I use in my videos. Uh, so yeah, it, I can say it's mostly a musical instrument. I will say from the beginning that I'm very, very happy about this camera. Uh, it acts amazing in low light conditions, it uh, outputs a great image, great colors, great quality. So um, yeah, I also have the, um, if you look in the, uh, on the Sony official page, you know, it has that module on top for the XLR uh, inputs. So yeah, you know, it serves my purpose, but there is a but. <laughs> uh, following the latest update, which in my case was 2.0, I think, uh, this video camera started to act weird, which was a bit surprising because I always paid a lot of attention during the operation with this uh, video camera. I always kept it in, I don't know, uh, dry places. Um, let's say I didn't shake it a lot and uh, you know I was always paying attention not to get uh, dust on this sensor I was very uh, attentive when I had to work with uh, with this video camera and all of a sudden I started to have these problems um, after I did it 2.0 upgrade uh, of course it was an interesting upgrade it brought um, let's say some nice features so I immediately jumped in and I uh, upgraded the firmware. At the beginning, let's say the camera acted normally, but after a while it started to give me these uh, errors whenever I was changing the lens. Uh, so I do have... Uh, I forgot to say that right now I'm recording this video using the uh, A7C camera, which is my B camera. And uh, I was saying the lens that I'm using with the um, FX3, right now I'm recording using the, um, uh, the 24mm uh, 1.4 uh, GM uh, fixed lens. Uh, I also have behind me uh, the uh, Super Tele 200-600 uh, zoom uh, lens. I also have the 19mm macro. And also, uh, recently I got the, uh, uh, I think it's 70 200 millimeter uh, GM uh, zoom lens. So yeah, whenever I was changing the lenses, uh, I was getting a, uh, an error uh, on the screen. Um, it was saying simply a system error. So um, yeah, basically the uh, the camera was not working anymore. So what was the workaround that I managed to find at that point? Uh, I was basically turning off the camera and I was removing the lens, putting it back and turning on again the camera and sometimes it was working, some other times it was not working, but most of the times it was working. So I said, okay, this will be my workaround. I was already thinking on sending the uh, video camera uh, in the Sony service because, I don't know, it costs a lot of money, you know. For me, it's not something that I uh, change every year. I bought it now and I intend to use it a good while of time. And, uh, and of course, I'm also treating it well, so I'm expecting to, to be a good camera, you know, and to work for a good uh, amount of time. So I was thinking on sending it in, uh, into the service of Sony to have it uh, verified over there. But, you know, having it sent and uh, waiting for the camera to return, I don't know, waiting for a few weeks or months, I don't know how much it takes to the Sony guys to, to verify it and to fix it in case there is something wrong. So 
I decided to live with this problem and yeah, I was applying my workaround, removing the lens and putting it back and yeah. But after a while, I noticed another problem. Uh, so basically whenever I was trying to turn on the, uh, the camera and it was not turning on at all. It was, you know, everything was black, <laughs> uh, everything was off. So I managed to find another solution. As you can see, I'm good in finding workarounds. <laughs> so what I was doing, I was basically removing the battery. It was a simple operation. I was removing the battery, putting it back, and the next time I was trying to turn on the camera, it was working fine. Oh my God, it was too much already, but I said, okay, I will live with it as well. Um, but then another problem show up and uh, when I was basically connecting the, uh, the, the camera to the, uh, to the computer, uh, I was hitting here, of course, you know, to have the uh, MTP, I think, I don't know, the, the first uh, option on top, which allows you to do the transfer of the recorded material to the PC, right? So, yeah, I was connecting the uh, uh, the camera to the to the PC using the uh, USB-C cable but this time let's say the, the card that is being uh, used by this camera was not showing up anymore in uh, on my PC I'm using a Windows 11 PC so normally when you connect the camera when you plug it you know uh, an additional drive will pop up in my computer over there but this time is what it was not happening anymore so I was not able to um, let's say to download the content I recorded inside this uh, video camera and this was already too much you know <laughs> I mean it was um, yeah as, as I was telling you I treated I always treated well this camera and I paid attention while operating it so it was not fair for this to happen so I decided okay I will send it to, uh, to the Sony service but as I already mentioned, I'm good in finding workarounds. Apparently this time it's not a workaround anymore. Uh, so what I did, I simply reinitialized the camera. Basically it was a reset to the factory uh, settings. Uh, after doing this, uh, let's say, simple task, uh, now I'm able to simply turn on the camera and it works. I'm mounting the... Uh, at the lens and it works with no system error anymore without the necessity of restarting the camera unplugging and plugging back the lens and everything else and of course now when i'm connecting the usb-c uh, cable to the pc the um, camera drive shows up in my computer and i am able to download the, uh, the content that i recorded so yeah i don't know if you are facing one of these issues uh, system errors when you are uh, operating the, um, the lenses uh, or the camera will not turn on when you switch you know from the button here to turn on the camera or when you connect the USB cable to your PC the uh, additional drive will not show up in my computer you may try this operation um, simply uh, reinitialize the settings, reset the settings of the camera and apparently everything is up and running now. In the meanwhile, in the meanwhile I have let's say made this little research uh, actually a few minutes ago uh, and I've noticed that Sony issued a 2.01 uh, firmware update which means that they noticed there was a problem with the 2.0 that I'm currently holding in this camera and following the uh, release of this 2.01 uh, update they have also removed this new uh, version of the firmware uh, so it, right now if you're looking on the Sony website it says that 2.01 has been removed from uh, it's not public anymore. They are investigating for something. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that the problem is not, you know, from the hardware, is not from the, uh, let's say, from the body that you 
uh, protected and that you cared about and that you let's say respected and operated correctly but it comes from the firmware that Sony provided hopefully your camera is uh, fine and uh, hopefully these are the only symptoms that uh, happens and nothing worse you know like having a broken camera or something uh, but in case you have problems with it i just read on the sony website uh, you should contact the sony service uh, the sony support and uh, yeah they will help you overcome this problem in the meanwhile it will not harm you can simply reinitialize the settings of the camera if you will be lucky like i am <laughs> the camera will return to normal operations uh, otherwise you will have to contact sony that was what i wanted to share with you uh, i hope uh, everything will be fine with your camera and uh, yeah cheers